And what is important to know about the brands, uh, uh, John Arnold was one of the most famous, uh, one of the most important watchmaker with Breguet. He worked also closely with Breguet and he invented a lot of things which made modern watchmaking possible, like on the escapement, hairsprings and so on. And in his life, uh, he had two phases. He first started as a king watchmaker for the George III, so he made very luxurious, complex, uh, also a miniature repeater in a, in a ring, it's very amazing things 250 years ago. And then he made ship chronometers, so he made precision instruments. So he first started and get rich in a way by doing uh, very sumptuous watches. And later on, he made high precision for finding longitude at sea, so ship chronometers. And it's where he gained the most fame. And, and our brand today, we have both aspects, so you have a royal collection and an instrument uh, collection. So, um, let's first start with the, uh, an instrument model. So what we do have here is, uh, so all movements are manufactured in-house. So we have a, a, a jumping second, which was used on all, so it's mechanical. Huh? It's a system which were to have a precise showing of the real second. We have a retrograde date, which you have over here, so it jumps back after 31 days. So this is really based on an historical layout of, of, uh, of Arnold. So if you need all pictures of all pocket watches and all the story behind each watch, we have a, you know, a real, we can give you a handout with all the story for each watch, the reason why it has been done. And important to notice, so as you see, every movement is always uh, done specially for the watch, and we also do different movement finishing depending on the K's. When the K is gray, the movement is more modern, it's black, and when it's golden, you have blue screws and uh, rhodium. So it's a lot of love for details mm -hmm. to make it really high end. Yeah. And we have so many new things that I'm going a bit quickly over different different ones. Here we also have a very classical instrument watch with double balance. We have one balance for seasonal time and one balance for solar time. So they have not the same speed, because a, a sidereal day is 23 hours, 56 uh, minutes and 4 seconds. So it's really what was done by Arnold 250 years ago, watches where you can find stars. You need star time to put your telescope and find a star, so you know at which time you have to put your telescope to look where. And so this one, two different speeds, two different escapements. But this is really for astronomers and for collectors. We also have a version. Is it a limited edition? Yes, uh, it is limited, not not directly, but we produce only only a few because it's really meant for collectors. We um, and we have, a, uh, I would say, a more user friendly for everyday use. It's a traveler's watch, so we we put the same speed again on the. But you have a, a perfect GMT where you can set each independently. So it's one movement, huh? One movement, two balances. So you wind only with one crown, so you don't have to, it's just for setting, but you can set any time, time zone in the world, on the minute, forward and, and yes, forwards, backwards, both, and you have, uh, oh, to, uh, on top, you have two hands to see on 24 hours, so you can also see the time difference. You can mm -hmm. count how many time, you know, so you see exactly, uh, my wife, it's, 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 it's noon, I'm going at night now, so you can see, is it, for instance, now I have 12 hours the difference. The difference between yes, it calculates the difference between both. Convenient. Yes. And you still have this very perfect symmetry, hand finished, fully hand finished movement. All our movements are done in German silver, like Lang and mm -hmm. So you have a better shining, a better finishing quality. Uh, all, all screws are heat blooded and polished by hand. So here you have a first overview of the first instrument come to the Royal. We still have more instruments to come, but there are so many novelties, I have to, to start. So, our Royal collection starts with uh, a, a three hand watch, hour, minute, seconds, with the Royal blue. This color was often used by Arnold on pocket watches. We have also pictures of the pocket watches, and he always used this blue, exactly this blue with this pattern on, on the back of the pocket watches. Our manufacturer movement, with two barrels and 80 hours power reserve, which is very long because the movement is very thin. So you know, most thin movement has 30 hours, 40 hours, and we have 80. So this is typical Royal, and we have different dials. And this is a new one, new, new for the Basel Fair, but we have also black dial, we have gray dial, so we have, it, this model exists in white gold, also in steel. And with the same pattern as this in blue. Hmm? Excuse me? The same pattern of this uh, dial. Yeah. Black? No. 
No. Only in blue. Only in, in black. Blue. You know, like in white, gold with with grey. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, again, the movement is, is special because it's 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 we always fit movement. Mm -hmm. Steel, and we have also more in, in gold, and we also make engraved dyed special hand engraved all done in house. This is a special set, also new for Basel, but I have so much I will maybe come on it later because then we, uh, we have, the, the boat is new, but we also make you know in gold. This was last year with gold applique. So all these uh, crafts are done at our factory in La Chaux-de-Fonds. We are 175 people. 175, people. yes. Mm -hmm. So How many pieces do you produce per year? Less than 500 all together. Mm -hmm. So we, we, our factory works basically for a lot of our, cli our other clients. So I mean, we were a, a watch manufacturer. Mm -hmm. 200, hmm? uh, 200 uh, pieces of uh, I mean per product, year. No, less than 500. Less than 500. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all together. Uh, we hope to increase, but what you have to understand is that we are um, we really are a watch manufacturer and we make movement for a lot of well-known brands and we acquired, we bought mm -hmm. uh, Arnold two years ago and we fully restarted with only new movements, only manufactured, much closer to, to the history. So, so you have seen the entry model, then I go to one of our uh, iconic, uh, it's the reduction of a ship chronometer from Arnold in a size of a... <coughs> so you have 100 hours of power reserve and as you see there's a lot of things special here. It's a fully symmetrical in four parts. Mm -hmm. You know it's symmetrical. You have two barrels for 100 hours. Then you have the beating of a very slow balance like on a pocket watch. It's 18,000 so it's a slow beat mm -hmm. with a Breguet hairspring. And here you have the true beat or dead beat second which shows a real second. So the idea will be energy origin of time here is a burst of time which starts moving and here you, it's, that's real time because human eye cannot read time on this you need to have a hand jumping and as you can see everything is symmetrical and the other speciality which is typical for all Arnold watches is each wheel has its own bridge so you have 16 bridges all around and this is also from historical yes models. it's a historical model we Problem is my press, my, my room is next door and I have all the original documents so maybe I can get them later and show you the original ones. But this, what's really modern is a black treatment. But if you would put it in, 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 in red gold like Arnold did, it would look very vintage. And the other interesting thing is you have, um, you have a mystery winding. It means when I wind the watch you don't see any wheel mo moving. And I have a mystery setting because I can set the hand and you don't see anything going to the hands. Mm -hmm. It's all hidden on the back, so it's very original. It's not just a movement that you turn, so I, I, I have a stop second. It's not only that the movement is just turned around, it is constructed in a very unusual way. You know, it's not a normal movement you turn to see the balance. It's everything has been put on a very special bridge over here, where you have two bridges, each or another, to have both winding and setting. A normal movement would have setting here and winding here. And we have all on the back. And it gives something strange, when you look through it, you can see it's not, it's because it's so big, so special, you have certain pieces where you can see through it. And what is this anchor doing? Oh, that's a very good question. Um, the anchor just, getting a bit hot. So the anchor, here you have the watch and everything, you have the impression you see everything. You see the barrel, you, you see the balance. But you don't see any wheel going to this hand. It's like moving, it's magic. It's mm -hmm. called a mystery deadbeat. Because you don't see, you have to turn it, and here you have a second escapement. You see it's an escapement with a, a, a little ruby. So it's an anchor moving. Mm -hmm. And this one makes the deadbeat. Mm -hmm. And what you see, what looks like an anchor, is because you, have, you need a counterweight so that it's equilibrium. Has it on? On bridge, yes. you see very uh, open. You see very well the um, the barrel for the energy. Mm -hmm. um, and what we did, we made it more symmetrical and so on. But all the shapes, all this, which people think is very modern, this triangular, <laughs> it was used 250 years ago. But the color changes. But you really clearly see uh, where we come from. So you know, just it has, it's a two parts. I have to find the other one. Because for each watch I have certain. Yes, so here you have it, old and old and new. The engraving, like he did it, we have the same. It was gold. We make it. You see the bridge shape. We have the same bridge shape. 
the turbines are also the bridge shape in three quarter. But often people think it's Lang and Zerner, but the British did it 200 years previous uh, earlier. So you have it here. But each time you see, we modify finishing. We made something fresh and new. But you see also the case with the bezel, the bezel with double step. Yeah. So what we're trying to do is to be rooted into the past, but make modern watches. We don't want to copy things which are in the museum and so on. Because if people want to, they have to buy, can buy the old ones. So we're making watches for today. We also have a new version for this Basel, which I really like, in red gold, with also very nice red gold wheels. Again, the, the, the bridges at this time are, are, are light gray, I mean a rhodium treated, and the, the main plate is slightly dark gray. Mm -hmm. So you have more contrast and you really see, because what we really wanted to achieve is have a 3D sculpture. When you look in and say, wow, you know, it's not just a movement you take and you turn. This movement didn't exist, it was conceived to be this way. It's not a movement we, we had somewhere and we turned it. It's really a movement which was really conceived after the drawings Arnold did for his ones with some new modern stuff to make not a copy but with full of little details like the cover over the what you have over here over the barrel it's 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 not just a screw it's it's a it's a big plate because it really pushes the barrel down so the barrel cannot move because mm -hmm. barrel has energy in and when it's unturned it has slightly after the, of the time you know and this one just Obla is really pressured it down. It's typically old. We are the only watch brand who does it today. Also, all the, the, the clicket system here, which is a spring shape. All these spring shapes, everything is is done like Arnold did. And we have a full document, uh, what I wrote for internal use. But if you want to to have some look at it, everything is explained point by point by point. So 16 bridges, 100 hours of power reserve, slow beat, 1800, and a dead beat second. Slow beat uh, and uh, the pre precision, doesn't it? Uh, That's a good question. No, no, so the slower you go, the bigger you need a balance. Mm -hmm. So you compensate. The smaller you get, the faster you have to go. Because when, when you go in such a big and heavy balance, you compensate the fact that it's slow. Mm -hmm. The reason why in wristwatches, in small wristwatches, you go on high frequencies is because the barrel, because it's got smaller, smaller. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I mean, look, a precision clock, it's very slow. But it's huge, so it's, you know, nothing can disturb it. The problem is the balance, when you lose or gain time, is when it's disturbed by, by shocks. Mm -hmm. And the good thing with big balances, that they are more stable. Mm -hmm. So once they, they get disturbed, it, it took longer to restabilize, but it's much more difficult to, stabil to, 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 to hurt it, because it's, mm -hmm. it's big. So what's, what you cannot do is going in bad frequency uh, and having a small one. In, 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 in. Mm -hmm. But here you have a huge balance, very heavy, it's, it's twice as heavy as this one on the automatic, for instance, which is 80, this one is uh, 88,000. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. This is twice as, as heavy and, and bigger. So you have to always find a perfect ratio. But obviously this movement is very large, so you could not put such a balance in, in a smaller watch. So it's why we have different beats. We have 28,800 for this one. 21.6, 21.6, 18. Mm -hmm. So as you can also see, all our watches are based on other techniques, other escapements. So for each watch, we do everything from scratch to fit the design. Yeah, because you could not put a small balance here. It would look ridiculous. So everything has to perfectly fit the size and to find a compromise. Also here, we have a good compromise between a long power reserve over 100 hour. In fact, it's 125, but we guarantee 100 chronometric. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, because all these are conceived all when we said 80 this is 80 for instance in fact it's almost 95 but the last 15 are not good ones because you know the energy is low the watch still st so but it's not it's you're not in the, in the perfect energy range not in the one you want to be so a royal again so we are in royal and now we switching to <laughs> A lot of a lot of novelties. So here are so many things to say. Um, let's start maybe with the moon. So it's a royal, as you can see from the case. There's a step bezel. It's a very nice finishing on the legs. Everything is very refined. You see, it's very expensive case with all finishing everywhere. These are all prototypes, huh? but you see the general appearance, but the obviously these are not 
series are still prototypes. This watch is, is particular by by different different uh, different means. First of all, it's a perpetual moon with 122 years. So it's set for 122 years. If you wear it and you wind it every day, it will be day it will be a one day euro in 122 years. So it's like a perpetual calendar, but for a moon. Uh, as you can see, we have a very special engraved moon, which is very three dimensional, which is done by our engraver at the factory for the first, and then it's duplicated for the series. As you see here, we have a guilloché black with guilloché. You had a question if we have the HMS with black guilloché. Yeah? Yes. We have only black guilloché on the moon. We don't have st for the moment on the HMS. We have the blue, like on the HMS, but for the black it's only the moon one. What is the material of moon? Uh, the moon is silver. Silver. Yeah. Yeah. But rhodium plated, it still gets gray, it stays gray. And we have another particularity which I'm pretty proud of. It is, it is not a model. As you can see here, we have a second moon face display mm -hmm. for precision setting because here oh. you can not exactly see the day mm -hmm. you can say okay it's not full moon it's maybe exactly. two days later but it's mm -hmm. but you have a we have a precision moon so we needed a precision setting way so we redone a second dial on the back where you can go day by day yeah mm -hmm. so you have a little push piece here and you can really set it and this also shows that the movement is fully integrated. It's not just a hamburger where you put something on. It's, you show it's really in, in the, into the movement because you have a dial here. And uh, so it's a, showing the same moon. But here it's just for setting purposes with, as you see, light, nice little paintings of the moon. <laughs> so, just to understand also the concept, we have three versions. We have one without stars, black and grey for more modern, maybe the younger gentleman. We have the very classic with guilloché moon and cream, just a beauty. That's really classic. You really feel this royal collection. It's, it's really heavy gold, everything is hand finished, hand crafted. It's really uh, a washes for the kings. And you have the, the for the emperor the blue one, so you goes you know from <laughs> this the is for the prince yes and here you <laughs> exactly for the king with full blue so this is more classic I would say this is more for the opera it's really the moon and here's the younger one so we, you see we make always small changes we have no no stars here to have it very clean we have stars on this one so each watch has an, an every 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 has this very nicely hand finished uh, movement. You can just detail a bit. You have what we call in French Côte de Genève rayonnante. They're not straight. Uh, we have hand angling on all, all and chamfering on all all bridges. You have a fine tuning, precision fine tuning here with micro matrix screws. You have polished chamfered and heat bluted screws. So they're not just heat bluted. They are polished flat and the the edges are chamfered. And you see the very nice blue uh, color of, of the of the heating, mm -hmm. and obviously this little uh, moon dial, which uh, uh, moon with different colors to have it. We didn't choose black because we didn't want a blue closer to it. So we have a little painting in blue, and you see mm -hmm. the full moon and 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 the uh, new moon. And even full moon with the sun. Yeah. Uh, some it's a little three D. Yeah. Is it three dimensional? Yes, it is slightly. Yes, mm -hmm. we in all our watches we are very on trying to put three dimensionality. You have seen with the TB88 with all the bridges. You see it with the moon. We are the only one. It's a very complex disc. You know, first you have to guilloché the disc, then you have to engrave the moon, and the moon is added mm -hmm. afterwards. So you can. It's really made in, in different pieces. So we first and, and we do the moon. We give it to the people who, who engrave, and they make the guilloché, and then they are making a hole, putting the moon in, and then they, are, and then they are paint the, the stars. And all these operations are under one roof? Uh, the moon is done by ourselves, but we do all what is, we do all the designing and the production and the conception of the movement. The only thing we do not do is dial and hands mm -hmm. and cases. But we do the moon. Mm -hmm. And for, for these ones we do the dials. But in general we buy dials. Because we are really a movement manufacturer. Mm -hmm. But in this case, as we engrave, we have an own engraver, we engrave the moon and provide the moon to the disc maker. Um, so this is one of our big bars and novelties. We had very great success with this. Um, let me introduce you another watch. Maybe you have seen on the booth. I will show you a photo. There's a big and long tradition in England, which is, I really love. Uh, it's called the skeleton clocks. So it's a very old English tradi tradition. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can show you up. Yeah.
are different books about these, but you have books, they love them. So it's really British. Arnold did some, you know? And when we were in London, you can see ours in the book. That's the one you can see outside of the booth. We have it, it's ours. But as you see, it's very modern, and it's 1835, so it's, it's very old. You could almost think it's kind of Art Deco, and it was done 100 years before Art Deco. And you have, they were really full of inventing, okay, they tried every kind of style, from very decorative to, you know, also with glass dyes, they really did everything. And when we went in London with the design team and the engineers, we said it would be so great to have this kind of feeling of transparency, of technique, into a wristwatch. You know, like such funky things with escapement going down and so on. So we decided to, to design a movement having these features in a, in a, in a, in a and it came out with something totally unique which we call the time pyramid which is basically if you see it on my level here you see the inspiration source and the final watch which is amazing on any view you can have so it's totally unseen. Nobody never did such a, a, a wristwatch. So this one is also still a prototype. So what do we have? The idea was to make a watch which is quite slim. The movement is 4.4 millimeters, so the watch is, is, is slim. But to have a lot of different 3D. So on the top, a sapphire, you have the power reserve. I'll explain you later why. We have two, two, two ones. Underneath, um, over it, you have a sapphire dial for the hours. Over it, a small dial, silver dial for the minutes. And underneath, you see the seconds on a little small dial. And you see, obviously, the escapement. So everything is straight in a line. And you have each display on its same level. So you first start with power reserve. Then you have hour and minute. And under hour and minute, you have the seconds. So you have displays not on one dial. You have displaying on the sapphire, displaying on dial one, and you see the second dial. It's not not easy to see, but you see the blue hand turning. So the second, so this is totally unique. You see the full escapement, which turns, and when I, if I turn the watch, you can also very very nicely see the escapement wheel, the second wheel. As you will notice, all our wheels have three spokes, three, not five. It's Arnold, it's typical for us. We always do three spokes. You have it on the tourbillon and other pieces, everywhere it's three spokes. And as you see, the architecture is totally, you have an amazing depth. It's really a sculpture for the wrist. So the case will be changed a bit for the series, it will be made integrated, slimmer, but just to give an overall impression. As I said, it's first prototypes, but technically functioning perfectly. So why do we have two power reserves? Because it's a double barrel movement also. We love double barrel movements, and you have 80 hours of power reserve. But the interesting thing about double barrels is not that when this watch unwinds, not both going down. It, because a double barrel, in this system of way, you, you wind it. So first one goes up, the other one goes up. But they don't go down like this. You have the one with the movement that goes down, and once at a certain point, the, the second barrel always winds it up. It's like a mother feeding her child. So, so during the full time, you have one going down, and the other one trying to put it up again, so you have constant energy. So basically, it's like you have one battery also charging the other battery. So it's super cool when you have a watch, because you see one always trying to go up again, because the other one loses and the other one gains, you know? So you see how one gives its energy to the one and the other one goes. The idea would be that this one always stay at the same height. So you have constant force. That's easy. And, and with this double, we can really see it. And as you can see, we made all the wheels flying. What we mean with flying, you have no bridge over it. You see the wheels are just held by a screw, but nothing is hiding it. So you see all the gear trends which make this, this possible. So the idea was to show as many details that you really have it's not a skeleton move, it is skeleton, but it's more than a skeleton move. It has been conceived that you can have a look, so you can turn it, you can go into it, you can dive into it. This was really, really the idea. You know, it's, it's not something existing, skeletonized, like everybody else does. It's really a movement that is conceived to be how it is. And as you see, we love, at uh, Arnold, we love symmetry. This one is symmetrical, the TB88. It's symmetrical in its own right. This one is also symmetrical like a, like a butterfly. So you know, you, you, you find through the watches what's our DNA.
So this one in Palladium you don't want. And to finish, what is the price of new model? Um, this one is thirty nine thousand in gold, Swiss, mm -hmm. Swiss taxes. And this one is fifteen in gold, mm -hmm. in, in steel, Swiss. And I said twenty four in, in re, re, five in gold. This one is. I think fifteen thousand Swiss with taxes. Fifteen. Fifteen. One five. Yeah. And we are very good. Uh, price ratio because we, we do all everything in house except for the dyes as I said on case but all the movement every part is done and this one uh, 39 Swiss in red in a uh, 5M but we can give you a price list when you leave so we have yes, everything it, it, it is easier for you yeah. and now let me finish with our world record I don't know if you heard about it uh, we just presented the slimmest tobi on the market which is over here so the, the, the on the market. So the last, the, the slimmest before this one was a Piaget with a six, Piaget, yes, yes, with with a nine point four the watch and three point five for the movement. Yeah. It's with a six hundred p movement. A very nice watch actually. And this one is eight point three four slim, one millimeter less. And the movement is two point nine seven. Yeah. So, it was just released two days ago on the press, but it's not the only specialty about it. We added a lot of other things which are interesting too. First of all, it's again a double barrel. I say again because it's a technique we love and we want good power reserve and constant torque. So we have 80 hours. So we have a slimmest, but we doubled the power reserve compared to other slim tourbillons. So we have still 80 hours. What we also have is very special. If you look, the tourbillon cage is huge. When you see, it, it's almost half of the movement. In three dimensions. Yes, it is Again. exactly. That's really exactly as you said. It's the third point. It is three dimensional, coming out of the dial, and it is bent. It's not, you know, a normal tourbillon is on, like it like this table, flat mm -hmm. and down. Everything here, when you look, the, op the, the upper bridge is curved, but also the under bridge are also curved. They're all curved. And you don't see any screw, you just see the screw from the, from the balance, but you don't see any screws holding the cage together. Everything is done through the back. Mm -hmm. You see the little blue screws here? So we want to have it more natural, round, like something from the nature, perfectly smooth, without visible screws, and nothing, nothing ever is flat. So because, you know, when we decide to make the watch, and we say, okay, it will be flat, thin, slim. But if it's slim, it's flat, and people don't want flat thing because, you know, it's like you want a sculpture, you don't want something, you don't want a, a picture like, like a piece of paper. And the big challenge was to produce it, but still that it looks attractive, because just being slim to be slim makes, has no sense. It has to be very elegant on the wrist, but it actually is, I think it's amazingly, on the wrist, and it's... Yeah, it's a typical shape, so this is still a prototype, so it will be better done in the finished product, but it's our typical, if I may, it's our typical Arnold & Son uh, design, which is very complex, you know, we have a double cut in, which, which, which took over this line, so it's a very complex, you see, we have one surface, two, three, four, five, six, it's all our cases are very expensive, and you see, Everything is, is 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 finished with a lot of you know it's it, it's not like a normal case which goes flat down. To produce this is hours or hours of machinery to get to cut all out these. And these all also this one will have exactly such a one. But for the prototypes uh, we didn't have the special we need special toolings and we have to order a tooling for each and we didn't receive it for Basel. So we made it's gold, but it's done, you know but it's already look good looking, but just as you know that this design you like will also be on this one. But it's pretty close, but it will be more defined. So you really have the line you see here. You, but exactly the same. We call it a telescopic case. It goes. Dum, dum, dum.